Namaste. Good morning. Namaste, Shambhala Didi. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to the morning session. Okay, namaste, Sumit Ji. Sabiko Namaste. Good morning and welcome. Let us start. Okay, Didi. So, today we have one sharing scheduled in English by uh, Soumya Didi. Soumya Didi, Namaste. I'm reaching you. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Shambhala Didi. Yes, Bhaiya. Yeah, Namaste. So uh, I will briefly introduce you and you can place your sharing within the stipulated time based on these indicators. So mm -hmm. very briefly, uh, Swamya Didi has is an assistant professor at RNS Institute of Technology, Bangalore. She attended the introductory workshop of UHP only in July 2023, and immediately after that, she became a volunteer of the UHP activities. She's participating in this registration, PPI, FAQ, help us, et cetera, in the online uh, activities. And uh, she's also in a trans now participating in the Canada translation work of the USB books, that are the teacher's manual, et cetera. And she attended the uh, introductory face-to-face -face workshop in October 2023, and she conducted a face-to-face -face workshop in her uh, college also recently. So with this, I welcome Saumya Nidhi for her sharing in the morning session. Nidhi, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya, for that brief introduction. Uh, to add that, I um, I am Saumya. I live with my mother-in-law, my husband, uh, my daughter who is three-year-old. And um, my parents also stay in Bangalore with my grandfather. I have a brother, younger brother, and a younger sister who is married. My uh, sharing, uh, my sharing regarding understanding emerging out of exercise one and two, uh, I would like to uh, talk more about exercise one because exercise two, I am still trying to understand. I am not able to get to it. Exercise one, yes, right. And uh, I first step one, I am able to observe myself, my imagination, yes. Uh, with respect to this step, I would like to say that. Uh, my day would start because I have some issues in my house and my day would start with all the negative thoughts that I would have. For example, that, you know, every day I cook in the morning as soon as I get up. So earlier, what I used to do is those thoughts used to be there in my mind and I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Like, for example, when I'm cooking, am I putting the salt? Am I putting the sugar? Am I putting something else? I would not remember. But after starting this exercise, I am aware now that what I'm doing and it's the same time earlier I used to feel I am not having sufficient time to finish my job. But now I am, it's the same time that I get up and it's the same things that I do. And I feel much better. And it, I would say like my memory has improved or I don't know, but that's what I feel. Second step, I'm able to observe the feelings which are natural to me or which I want continuity. Yes. This, I can take an example uh, because both of us are working and I have a three-year-old daughter. It was our responsibility that has to be shared. Earlier, what used to happen is uh, I would finish something in college. There would be something that would occupy my mind, unnecessary, irrelevant things. I would come, I would start shouting at my daughter who is three-year-old, who would never understand what I'm doing. I would show my frustration on her. But now that has changed, irrespective of what has happened in the college, what I go through in the college, it has not affected my daughter uh, or my behavior with my daughter. And I can see that she is very happy to wait and see for me. And I can see the difference that how it has changed in me. And I want to be keep that in continuity with my daughter. Third step, with these natural feelings, I am in harmony within, in the state of happiness within. Most of the times I try to be because now I know what is natural accept. I'm trying to know what is natural acceptance. I am trying to understand what is right understanding. I'm trying to understand what is uh, being in relationship, the feeling of relationship. So I am able to see that. Fourth step. I myself decide the feelings that I have. It means I myself am responsible for my own happiness or unhappiness. I'm completely responsible. Uh, yes, uh, with respect to step four, I had some issues uh, with my uh, working environment. 
uh, there were two people that I felt because of them that, you know, everything wrong is happening in me. And that has changed during the exercise. Initially, I had this feeling with respect to one of the senior faculty and uh, my head of the department. Uh, I would feel that, you know, every time they're targeting me and they are trying to put me down, they are trying to, you know, make sure that I'm you know, unhappy. That was the feelings that I had. But after starting the exercise, it is the same environment. The, the people are all the same. But I don't feel that towards those people. Initially, I did not, you know, I felt, okay, they are not. But then, again, it used to fluctuate. And again, I would once in a while, whenever there was a situation that I was getting into, I would still feel, no, these people are the same. So that fluctuation, as I started practicing, now I have a feeling of relationship with them. And now I don't get those thoughts irrespective of the situations I am with them. This happened day before yesterday also, but I am not in a state of unhappiness despite of what is happening, whatever those people tell me or whatever is situation I try to get in. So I am making an effort in this with respect to my self-development by understanding that they have a natural acceptance. Maybe their competence will vary, but their intentions are to keep me happy or be in the state of harmony. Step five, basis of making decision is either understanding or assumptions. I would like to mention one of the um, situations in my life that happened. I had this feeling uh, during the exercise, I had this feeling that uh, my I am at a better place and my sister is not at a good place and I wanted to help her and I didn't know what I was doing. And I was hesitating. I didn't know what I was doing. I was hesitating what I should do for her. But I, when I was thinking about it and when I tried to understand, I had this preconditioning or assumption that she has some negative thoughts about me and she doesn't like me. And that stopped me from talking to her. It's been, I don't remember when I spoke to my sister, but after this understanding, I immediately spoke to her and now things have changed with my sister, I would say. Uh, my sister, my own sister, who never wanted to share things with me, she would share it with everybody. Now for anything she wants help, she comes to me. And that feeling I have, because I had it, because of the assumptions I had, because of the preconditioning, it has changed, I would say, and it is better now. Next step six, feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable to me. I am trying to understand. Feeling of relationship, yes. There are a lot of people around me that I felt that, you know, they have a problem with me. And now I know they do not have a problem. It is me. I have a problem in all the situations. And I am responsible for my happiness. I am responsible for my sadness. By step seven, by ensuring the feelings of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, I will be in a state of happiness at this moment. Ensuring this every moment, I will be in a state of continuous happiness. Yes. By understanding the relationship, I am trying to be aware most of the times with every person or with every unit and trying to be a part of the harmonious larger order. So now, yes, sometimes what happens uh, with respect to few people, my feelings with respect to relation, right, uh, you know, understanding of the relationship, it varies. But earlier, it used to be the same throughout the day. I don't remember when I had a good thought about me. But now I know my happiness is because of me. And everything that I do, I am aware of it. Most of the time, I, I am aware of it, I would say. It has be become better than what it was. With respect to exercise two, I would say that I am trying to work on my son's uh, sanskars. I am trying to uh, see what my sanskars are at every moment. I am trying to uh, understand the sanskars and I'm trying to see whether those sanskars are, are my assumptions or is it based on understanding. 
So these are some of the things that, uh, you know, while doing the exercises that I have noticed and uh, they have brought a lot of uh, uh, difference in me. Now I'm trying to understand uh, natural acceptance, the feeling of relationship with every other unit in the order, including the human beings around me and right understanding. Happiness is your innate nature and not the effect from outside. Yes, I can see this a little bit. I am not very clear about it, I would say, because some of the times, again, I go back to my old self. And uh, most of the time, I would say yes. And uh, to quote one of the instances that happened yesterday is, uh, I we had this FTP that we had conducted last week in college. And... Uh, uh, I don't know these students, they are from other department, but uh, the, I take uh, class one of the subjects for all the department students that is an open elective subject. These students just came yesterday to me and they said, ma'am, we want an help from you. And uh, I asked them, I, they, I don't even know them. So I told them, yes, they said, ma'am, these students asked us to talk to you. So they had some issues with their guide. They came and they spoke to me and they felt very happy about it. I did not give them any suggestion very big. I just told them, you think for yourself and see what is the situation and try to, you know, figure out something and keep in mind that it is you, you are there at that moment. You are the one who is trying to do something in the project and see how it works out. And just by talking to them for three minutes or something, they felt, you know, uh, different. I wouldn't say happy, they felt different and I could say it was better. So I can see that, you know, I am uh, trying to un uh, do things that I keep in mind and it is for myself. And irrespective of whether the students come to me or whether the faculty around me talk to me, my happiness doesn't matter on them. It is just that I am there, I am happy, I'm trying to be happy or in the state of harmony most of the time. And it is not getting affected by either people from outside telling me something good or telling me something bad. How much of this program is for trying to get favorable effects? Uh, I would say sensations, uh, I am still working on them. Feeling from outside, uh, I don't think so. I am trying to be in a state that I don't, I am not a reason to have some disharmony around me or inside me. So that is the program that I am trying to live now. I am not sure whether it is right. How much of this program is keeping it focus on self and how much of this program is keeping the focus on the body? Yes. Uh, now it is much better, I would say. Initially, even before UHV, I was a free code by so many saris. I, I had made it my agenda that every month when I get my salary, I have to spend it on saris. And now... I think in the last five, six months, I haven't bought any sari. So I am very happy that you know I'm not unnecessarily spending for my body. And uh, I have never been fond of jewelry being a woman. So that has not uh, made much of a difference now. And uh, um, I am trying to you know see how um, I am using things around me for the body and uh, how much minimum it is required. I know it is required, but I know I can still work on it and see how much is required just for me and for my immediate family. Uh, I am trying to understand natural acceptance. And uh, I one thing I would say is like being having the feeling of relationship with everything around us and trying to understand what natural acceptance is has got me into a state of being in the happiness or calm or polite most of the time that was not there before i used to shout i used to argue i used to wait for people not even wait for them to complete something i would want to respond i would react to them and that has changed now and it has become better so this is my sharing with respect to exercise one and exercise two i am still working on it my commitment uh yes most of the times I'm trying to, uh, you know, have the right feeling and right understanding. And in certain instances, I know that, you know, that's not the right feeling because uh, there is a lot of preconditioning or assumption, I would say, 
for example uh, with my mother in law uh, i she hasn't uh, we are staying together and i've had lot of problems and i would say that she is this she is doing that she is doing all these on purpose she is trying to you know ruin my happiness etc i had those thoughts now it is changed i wouldn't say i have completely come out of it but yes i have the feeling of relationship with her earlier i felt you know i would not stand for that was the thoughts i had about her but now it is changed it is for the better it is become better but i don't say it is completely gone i'm working on it how much of time you can devote to social responsibility yes while doing the exercise i was thinking uh, yeah i was trying to understand right understanding feeling and natural acceptance but i was not able to do it with some people because of some issues that i had before and now after the feeling getting the feeling of right understanding it has gone to the uh, maybe a little further and now i want to help them and i'm seeing how i can help i have not started helping them i would say but yeah i want to help them i have that thought that i want to help them and i am working towards it i try to spend my most of the time with the you know which these exercises and assignments i have started going back to the assignments that they had started and i wish to be a part of the next batch as well i thank charmila didi sunil bhaiya vinay bhaiya Jayaprakash Bhaiya, Dipesh Bhaiya, Nirupam Di, for all the help they are giving me whenever I have, you know, wanted, and the entire UHV family, because every sharing that we hear, it has actually, you know, made us feel, and you know, we we have this feeling of family here, and uh, I think that is the most important thing, you know, when we talk about being related or having the right understanding the volunteering the kind of help that we receive it's a very good feeling and i wish to continue that is my commitment i thank everybody for giving me this opportunity to share nice nice thank you so much for this inspirational sharing with a very short span of time we can see the improvement within and you are progressing uh, faster and that is an inspiration for all of us All the uh, guys for us for sure. Yeah. Uh, now, may I request Shamla Didi to give her comments regarding some of this sharing? Shamla Didi, over to you. Yeah. Namaste, Swamiya ji. Namaste, Didi. It was very nice to hear you in this short span when you know in this very year you have done the workshop and. Uh, so much change experientially uh, that you have shared um that's very good progress for this short time and the fact that you are able to have better relationships with your siblings with your husband with your you know mother in law all of these people it just reflects on <clears throat> the changes that you are able to make within you like you said nothing has changed outside but you are more comfortable more calm within and certainly that speaks for your efforts in this whole process also when you said that you seem to have better memory yes that makes sense because when you are more aware of the things that you are doing outside you tend to recall them better so it will look like your memory has become sharper so very nice to hear your sharing it's early days a lot more uh, changes you will see and a lot more depth will come also with the further exploration so all the very best to you thank you bibi yeah in your um no now that you have had a workshop in your own institute volunteering in those you know the efforts of increasing the uhb activities in your college will be very useful for yourself and for 
others in the institution. So um, perhaps you can, you know, go about trying to have these kind of workshops a little more often in your college and try to have more and more of the faculty and the students get involved in these activities so that, you know, they are able to also take part and uh, see the benefit for themselves experientially. So perhaps you can, you know, work towards that. And all the very best to you. I think it's very commendable that having a small child, um, you are able to do these activities and you are able to see these changes in yourself and have, um, you know, more responsibility towards your relationships. So all the very best to you in the time to come. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sam uh, Samlaridi, for the comments.